everyone and welcome to Simply Made Homestead. Well, it's only been a little bit of time, but these quail, they just keep growing and growing. And so they're getting kind of smelly in the house. And I'm sure they wouldn't mind having a little more room. So even though I add shavings once a day, there's still just that little aroma. So it's time for them to come out here to the shop. We've got this room off our shop. Um, it's not, it is not climate controlled, so it's nice and warm. And uh, I'm going to move them over out of this uh, tub right here, which has served them for the first two weeks of their life. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it for you here. So you can check it out. It tells you all about the setup, what we feed them, how we set up their little waterers when they're brand new. And uh, so be sure and check that out if you haven't seen it and you're interested. Now we're going to move them over to this puppy pen. It's an octagon, it's four feet around. And it is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna put the heater back here still. I'll turn it off during the day, but I will turn it on at night because it does get down to about 72. They're not quite ready for 72, but they're almost ready for 72. So they're getting all their feathers, but you can look on their tummies. There's, uh, they're still growing out their big girl feathers, big girl, big girl, big girl, big boy feathers. So we're gonna move them over into here. I'll show you the setup and uh, let's get going. Before I start moving them over, I did wanna show you real quick um, a really important thing. I have increased their waterer to a larger size because I was um, having to give them water twice a day. They're really going through it. And I was going to upgrade their feeder to the larger size, but then I remembered last time they love to fly man and they can fly and I would come out here and find them inside the bucket like they would fly up and then fall in the bucket and I just even though I check on them twice a day I just don't like that so I'm going to try them out this first time doing it but I'm going to try this little chick feeder um, and we're going to see how it goes I'm sure they'll crawl in there but they can easily crawl back out so I've got shavings on the bottom I did put the feeder and the water up on some bricks because they tend to kick the shavings, they're bigger. They're, you know, really active and they kick their shavings all in their food and their water and this will just help keep it cleaner and uh, they can still get up there to it. Um, so, let's get them moved. Oh look, there's your new home. The babies are all set up. They are very happy. You don't hear any big loud chirping or any kind of major noise going on. They're just little tiny little chirps so you know they are very happy and very content. That is one way that you can tell with quail, chicks, or anything. When you are uh, raising them when they are young like that, if they are chirping really loud, there could be cold, um, they should need food or water. It's just like a baby. It's their, their way of telling you that they're not happy. But they are very content. They're just moving around like, I mean, they are just happy little, happy little quail. And uh, I'm just happy for them to have so much space and be able to move about a little, little bit better. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a big old thumbs up. We really appreciate it and it really does help us out a lot. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, we would love to hear from you. So just leave them in the comment section below. We do have a link in the description box below for the uh, puppy pen, so you can check that out. And uh, I, I'd highly recommend it. It has we have you we have two, and we have used them over and over and over again. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you join us. And if you are interested in raising quail, we have a playlist for raising quail, and it's from building pens to. I mean everything. There's just everything, waterers, just all kinds of really good, useful information in there about raising quail. So be sure and check that out. And until next time, take care and God bless.